His new comedy album premieres tomorrow on iTunes. The name of the album is Almost Black. Please welcome Andrew Kennedy. Andrew Kennedy. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> That's right. The uh, comedy album Almost Black debuts tomorrow on iTunes. And you guys are stunned. You're silent. I promote diversity through comedy. It's very important. So I'll start from the beginning because a lot of you don't know me. So I'm half Latino and half white. Right? So I so, was in Colombia, in Puerto Rico, Venezuela. So I'm half Latino, half white, which makes me Latino, right? Because <laughs> when, you, when you mix white with anything else, you're the anything else. Are we agree? Like Barack, Barack Obama is not the first half white president. Are we, uh, can we get there? He's not even the first half black president. He's just the first black president. And he's half white. But I get it. He looks more black than white. I get it. And that's because his father was from Kenya and they're very dark people. He would have had to have needed three Swedish albino mothers to try to confuse anybody. <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't know. I think he might be either way. I'm not sure. So I'm half Latino, half, half English. My great grandmother was mulata. You know what that means, right? That means half black. We all know what that means. That means that my grandmother was a, f a fourth black, making my mother an eighth black, making me one sixteenth black. I know. Let's soak that all in. <laughs> I'm 1 16th black. I know you don't see it, but divide 182 pounds into 16, and that's how much black I have it. <laughs> I got you. I got you. I got thin ankles, high calf steeds, and vertical leap. None of this is made up. And when you combine ethnicities and have children, you don't know what the kids are going to look like. So I'm the middle child, and my brothers and I are all different heights, hair color, eye color, skin tone, sexual orientation. It's amazing, and I, and I get it. I look totally not Latino or black or anything. In fact, and, and it's weird because I'm my mother's favorite, which makes me worried because I know why I'm her favorite, because I was the whitest of her children, so she's a racist. <laughs> my mother's a racist. I was a topic of conversation growing up because nobody ever thought I belonged to her. You know how much power you have when you're a five foot tall Latina mother pushing a baby carriage down the streets of Rio Piedra, Puerto Rico, and the blonde haired blue eyed baby in the carriage is your kid. Este tu niño, este tu niño, yeah, they keep my songs. <laughs> so my great grandmother was mulata. She had two children my grandmother, my grandmother's brother. My grandmother's brother came out darker than my, than my grandmother. My grandmother married a light-skinned Colombian from the interior of Colombia, and my mother married Casper the Friendly Ghost, just whitening the shit down. <laughs> Till you get to ta-da, white boy! But my grandmother's brother married a very black woman, de la costa de Colombia, very black. Like people from Nigeria would be like, oh my good, look at her. <laughs> oh my good, look at her. That woman is black, oh my good. She is so black. She walk in a closet, turn on the light. <laughs> it is still dark. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. This is out of love. There's no racial tension here. I can't make this stuff up. It's all legitimate. My older brother is a five foot tall gay Catholic school teacher and cheerleading coach who's dating a clown. Try writing a funnier joke. So my, my mother's this tiny Colombian, my father is, is Mr. Magoo, and completely English, totally English. Unemotional, he ends conversations by walking away from you. When my eldest, when my firstborn was born, his first grandchild, the most we could get out of him emotionally in, in the delivery room, when everybody's bawling, was, it's rather nostalgic to see your genetic lineage transcending in front of you. Can you just cry, Dad? Can you hug me? Aiden was just born. Can you cry? I love you, Dad. Yes, I reciprocate that feeling. That's how unemotional he is. <laughs> it's fun. I grew up in, in Colombia, Puerto Rico, Venezuela, Hong Kong, the United States, Venezuela, the United States. So, I mean, I just, I've seen the world, and, and, and I've gotten a chance to do comedy all over the world, and I really hope that a lot of Americans get out more because... <laughs> I get embarrassed. I do. I can't even tell you. 
I was, I was in a European country listening to an American comment to a Scottish woman how impressed he was she spoke English. Yes! Because she's from Scotland and all. Like, and, and, you know, and she's waiting for the punchline. There's no punchline. That's what, that's what they speak in Scotland. They don't speak... Maybe 1.5 of the population over five years old speaks Scottish Gaelic, but everybody else speaks English. That's all we speak. I'm from Scotland. That's it. I do not speak French. I do not speak Italian or Portuguese. It's only Scottish. Why do Scottish people sound angry no matter what they say? That's the weirdest thing. You can't tell when they're happy. I feel great. I'm so happy. It's my birthday. Irish people just get drunk, and that's why you guys paint your doors different colors. That's how hammered you get. That's how you know you're at the right place. Tis. And I'm, I'm in New York City here where every culture is represented, and I love it, and I always had an ear for the different accents because I wanted to fit in. And different things in different cultures mean stuff. Like, in Jamaica, licking your legs is a cat call. Like, that's a way you show a female that you're interested in her. Oh, girl, looking long and luscious, looking long and luscious, let me lick your legs, let me lick your legs. I'm like, that's an inner thought. You don't actually say that out loud. <laughs> but I have to, I have to say that, that being in the States after 30 years and listening to the different accents in this country, I mean, there's... The, I, you know, especially the Northeast. Southern is, there's, it's, it's different, but there's two kinds of Southern accents. There's Southern, and then there's, uh, well, it's Southern, or redneck, or country. Well, you're, it's Southern, like Southern to me is like a senator. You know, it's like, uh, 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 do you mean to tell me, Senator, <laughs> that you were unaware of the age of the female in question? I'm out to believe you, Senator, but but country is totally different. Redneck is different. Like Southern, you could see Shakespeare re being used, you know. They could, you could hear that. But Hamlet can never recite Shakespeare like in a country accent. You can't hear Hamlet go, to be or not to be. <laughs> that is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of our outrageous fortune. You guys are awesome. Check out my album. This is just a little taste. Thank you very much. Thank you.